All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And once again, it's another video, and it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Raka Kodash. All praises and glories definitely do. Let me put this on. Do not disturb. Yeah, so I'm going to call this video Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide. Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide. Now, what inspired me to do this video was the video that you see on screen here. When I was working out yesterday, I was listening to this video here, An Alliance Forged by Wisdom. And this is uh, the two brothers you see to the left of your screen. Uh, the first one on top is uh, Warum. And uh, of course, the second brother on the bottom there is um, Yashuamba, up and coming elder Yashuamba of uh, GMS Dallas. And um, there's a part of this video, I was trying to find it, but I couldn't. So. I'll just tell you what I heard. There's a part of the video where they spoke about Yahweh Shai actually guiding us through the spirit. We've been guided by Yahweh Shai, which is 100% true. You know, and there's also a part of the video where they made mention of all the knowledge that we have concerning these scriptures and the understanding that we have comes directly from Yahweh Shai his father Yahweh, you know and again that's 100 percent true so as i'm working out you know i was doing my walking you know uh, the wheels are turning that's another benefit about you know doing doing your, your walking you're all you know you you know you're doing a lot of thinking while you're walking so that's another good benefit to do your daily walk you know and you try to do at least at least four miles you know um, if I can't do five I'll do I'll try to do at least four okay and um, that's when that idea hit me Yahweh Shai is actually our spirit guide now on the left hand side you got these warlocks and these witches they talk about spirit guides you know which gives them their insight gives them their power helps them in their endeavor, which their endeavor, of course, is wickedness. We're talking about warlocks and witches. They always speak about spirit guides. Well, guess what, brothers? On the right-hand side, we have spirit guides, too. You know, there's a scripture where it speaks about the angels, matter of fact. And the angels are spirits, right? But our ultimate spirit guide is Yahweh Shai. He's the ultimate angel. Uh, if we go in the book of Psalms... 34 and 7 it says this see the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and who's that the hopeful elect you know individuals like us so we got angels around us man even though we can't see them they're there and they also guide us and protect us okay the word angel means messenger all right so Essentially, they would be what? Our spirit guides. But our ultimate spirit guide is Yahweh Shai. So just like on the left-hand side, you got the warlocks and witches. They're always talking about their spirit guides. And we're going to look up the term spirit guide to get even more understanding. On the right-hand side, which is where we, we're located, you know, the, the elect of the nation of Israel, we're located on the right-hand side of the Father. We have spirit guides too. And this is one of many scriptures that proves this. Psalm 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So that's, those are our spirit guides for righteousness. Now, if you go from there to the book of Hebrews, pretty much says the same. Now, that was the Old Testament, right? Pretty much says the same thing. Hebrews, the first chapter. And we're going to go down to the 13th verse. It says, but to which of the angels said he at any time sit on my right hand 
until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now, who was who that said to? First of all, who said it? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Who did he say it to? Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai, right? Now, here's the point. It says, are they not all ministering spirits? So, again, that's the term ministering spirits is akin to a spirit guide. For us, the angels are ministering spirits for us. They're sent to help us in our endeavor, right? Are they not all ministering spirits? And <clears throat> another word for minister, minister is to serve. Ministering spirits, they serve. Who do they, who do they serve? Us. You know, they, they're there to give us the message in our minds, you know, more understanding of the scriptures. They're also there to protect us and to guide us, keep us away from trouble, right? Are they not all ministering spirits? Remember, this thing of ours is spiritual, man. For you to, pretty much for you to prosper in this thing of ours, when I say prosper, meaning to get much and much understanding, where this, you know, the scriptures that says, grow in the grace and knowledge of the Heavenly Father. For you to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Heavenly Father, you have to develop a spiritual mind. You have to believe in things that you really can't see, which I always say, it, I've been saying it through the years, what you can't see is greater than what you do see. What you can't see is greater than what you do see. Like case in point, the wind, which in a conversation between Yahushua and Nicodemus, what did Yahushua use to explain the, the way of the spirit to Nicodemus? He used the wind. He said the wind list of you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know where it's going. So is everyone born of the spirit. So Yahushua used the analogy of the wind. Now the wind, you can't see it, but it's there. So that's developing a spiritual mind. You're believing in things that you really can't see, which is stronger than what you do see, right? So are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? And who is that, brothers? And you few sisters that watch these videos, who, who, who is that? Those are the elect, the elect men and the elect women. The Bible speaks about the elect women as well, women that have been chosen to be delivered. Remember, there was a great company of women that followed Yahweh Shai and lamented after him. Those same spirits are back. Now we get down hot and heavy on the sisters, but the truth is there are certain sisters out there that are, that are slated to be delivered. Okay, there are certain sisters out there that, are, that have been chosen to be delivered. When Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to deliver them. And they're going to be wives of the brothers that make it, the hopeful elect. Okay, so like I say, we get down hot and heavy on the sisters, but there are certain sisters that will be delivered. The Bible speaks about the elect lady that's in somewhere in the book of Second John. Okay, so men as well as women are going to be delivered and even children too. Even children too that have been chosen to be delivered. All right. They're all part of what is called the hopeful elect. OK. Yeah. So going back to this video here, like I said, I tried to find the, the part. You know, I, at the time I heard it, I was working out, so I wasn't able to time stamp it in my mind. But if you watch this video, you want to watch the whole thing. It's about an hour and 32 minutes long. It's, it's, it's pretty long, but it's a lot of good points in it, you know. Uh, you, you, especially those of you that are new, you get a lot of good insight into what's being said. You know, the name of the video is An Alliance Forged by Wisdom. All right, it's put up by uh, uh, Yashuamba. That's his channel there, Remnant Save 144. So again, the, the main uh, topic concerning this video that I got out of the video here was you know, they were talking about how Yahweh guides us and the wisdom that we have doesn't come from ourselves. It comes from the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that's 100% true. Okay, so what I did was put together three scriptures which proves that Yahweh is our spirit guide. He's the, as you see here, uh, Yahweh our ultimate spirit guide. There you go. Okay, and he guides us and he protects us 
and he gives us all the understanding that we have concerning this ministry. He gives us the understanding of the prophecies, the, the, the ability that we have to break down these prophecies so ex expertly. That doesn't come from us. Let me say that again. That does not come from us. We can't take the credit on that. That comes from Yahweh Bar Shemiah Shai, in particular Yahweh Shai. All right, he, he, he feeds us, man. He is our ultimate spirit guide. Okay? So let's get the first scripture, uh, Matthew. And, and you know what? In this lesson, I want you brothers, right? I want you brothers to add to this lesson. Unlike the IUIC, you can't do that, you know. <laughs> you go on that comment board, you can't post scriptures. <laughs> only only the, uh, the the speaker and the men that are with him can 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 uh, talk about the scriptures. You go on that comment board. You you're just there as a captive audience. You're just there to be entertained. You're just there to be razzle dazzled by the speech of you know uh, the leader and his men. Over here at Great Millstone, it's it, it's the exact opposite. Okay, we we want you to engage in the conversation as long as you what you add to the conversation is edifying that's all we care about and and the 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 best form of edification is the scriptures in other words if i'm speaking and i say something that resonates with you you better come back with a scripture to add to it so everybody gets fed you see so i want you concerning this lesson to add in the comment board to add scriptures which prove that Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide. That's that's the subject matter, right? So here, Matthew 28 and 20. Let's read that. It says, um, well, I'll start at 19. This is what Esau calls the Great Commission, which we're in the Great Commission right now. You know, what we're doing in making these videos and also going out on the street and teaching this gospel, which we really don't have to go out on the street. You can reach far more people on the, on the internet than you can on the street. But we go out on the street because, number one, Yahweh Shai told us to go out on the street. He said to go to the highways and the byways. That's number one. So that's showing obedience to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, right? And number two, we go out on the street to show our faith. Remember, as it is written, faith without works is what? Dead. So that's our works, which proves our faith. Because it takes faith to go out on the street and teach, teach this gospel. Because you're open to the elements. Whatever happens, happens when you're out there, you know. But we have faith. We trust in Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. Again, that's where our spirit guides helps us out. Because our spirit guides are right around us when we go out and teach. You can't see them, but they're there. I just read you the scripture, Psalm the 34th chapter. See? So you brothers that go out to teach, there's nothing for you to fear. Whatever's going to happen was meant to happen anyway, right? But there's nothing for you to fear. You're out there to do a job. You're out there to do a service to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and your spirit guides will protect you, okay? It's just that simple. It all comes down to faith. Anyway, Matthew 28 and 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, and that's exactly what we're doing. The reason why it says teach all nations is because the nation of Israel is scattered among all nations. And we teach this. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. The only ones the Father is looking for right now is the elect. They're also known as the true worshipers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's what Yahweh Shai told that woman at the well. He told that woman, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is looking for the true worshipers to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Another title for them is the elect. Romans 11 and 7. It's all about that elect. The elect, the elect, the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel. The elect of the elect. Israel is an elect nation, but then there's an elect of the elect. And even uh, Elder Pastor did that video. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. So we're supposed to teach the true name of the Father right there. There's no way Nate can get around that. Talking about we don't have the true name of the Heavenly Father. That's against scripture. Right here, the Lord told us to go... And, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the whole, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's why we say Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Kodash. That covers it. That covers it all. Why do you think we say we got a hundred percent truth? And again, that's not of us. 
the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, our ultimate spirit guide, gave us that understanding that we are to say Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai Baal Shem Rakakwadash. That covers that scripture right there. The Father, which the Father's name is Yahweh, the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Holy Ghost in Hebrew is a Rakakwadash, Spirit Holy. So that covers it. So we're doing, thanks to our spirit guide, Yahweh Shai, we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're doing it the right way. Okay? So reading on, here's the point. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, here's the point. Lo means look. I am with you always. So Yahweh Shai is with us, man. He's with us in spirit. All right, he's our ultimate spirit guide. He's guiding us. He's with us. You can't get around us right here. And lo, I am with you. Who's the you? Us. This was really said to the disciples, which became apostles, but it filters down to us because we're the disciples. We're the apostles of Yahweh Shai. We're doing the same works that the original disciples and apostles did more than 2,000 years ago. We're doing the same work. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, as he was with them, he's with us. He's our ultimate spirit guide. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Where are we at right now? We're in the end of the world right now. We're in the end of Esau's world, the end of Esau's society. Also, America, before it was known as America, was also known as the end of the world. It was also known as the fourth part of the world, the end of the world. So the spirit of Yahweh Shai is with us right here. Okay, he's with the, you brothers all over the world, of course, but he's, he's certainly with us right here in the end of the world, which is the Americas, particularly North America, where most of the men of the Lord are located. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is with us, man. So our ultimate spirit guide is with us. So that was Matthew 28 and 20, right? Now let's get the next one, 1 Timothy this video is not going to be that long because, you know, the point has been made. The book of 1 Timothy, the second chapter, the fifth verse. Then we're going to look up the word mediator, get a greater understanding. 1 Timothy 2 and 5 says, For there is one God, his name is Yahweh, and one mediator between the heavenly Father and men. What kind of men? Israelite men, begin with the elect. The man, Yahweh Shai. So, Yahweh Shai is our mediator. Now, when you look up this word mediator, it ties into spirit guide. Okay, we're going to look up the word mediator in the Greek. All right, which is mesites. Strong's G, 3316, mesites. Mesites. And it says, one who intervenes between two. Who's the two? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and us. So, <laughs> you can't tell me this scripture don't prove that Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide. He's guiding us, man. One who intervenes between two, either in order to make or restore peace and friendship. Yeah, peace between us and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Because remember, Yahweh cast us away for our wickedness. So, the hope of the nation lies in the elect. All right. Uh, to restore peace and friendship or form a compact, the same thing, or for ratifying a covenant. Right. Uh, we're going to be the first to taste the new covenant. OK, that is uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. Right. Now, here's the, the second definition. It says a medium of communication, as in the spirit guide, uh, another term for. Uh, a spirit guide is a medium, a medium, a communicator. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is communicating for us beyond, beyond this physical world. He's, he communicates for us in the spirit world. He's our ultimate spirit guide. Can you not see that? A medium of communication, an arbitrator. That's a go-between, like a lawyer. Yahweh Shai is our ultimate lawyer. Okay, Yahweh Shai weighs many titles concerning us, man. But the part that got me in this definition was a medium of communication, as in a spirit guide. Like on the left-hand side, the warlocks and the witches, they have their spirit guides that tell them what to do, tell them what moves to make, okay? 
Well, guess what? We have our spirit guides too. And the knowledge of, of righteousness is greater than the knowledge of wickedness. Okay, there's a scripture where it says, the light of the wicked shall be put out. So all these warlocks and these witches that rely on their spirit guides, there, there will come a time when their spirit guides will not be able to help them. Okay, there's a scripture where it speaks about that in, in uh, Isaiah, the 47th chapter. You know, stand now, what is that? How's that go? Stand now of the multitude of thine enchantments. It's speaking to the wicked, the wicked elite. All right, the wicked elite, which rely heavy on their, their, their spirit guides. All right, there it is right here. I mean, the whole, the whole chapter is good, but I just want to get to the point. Isaiah forty-seven and twelve. Stand now with thine enchantments. This is, this is directed to the wicked elite of Esau who rule the society in wickedness. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They rule the society through secret societies, through demons that they worship as in spirit guides that give them their power, tell them what to do. And of course, those spirit guides are controlled by the heavenly father and his only begotten son because uh, Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, all power is given unto him. All right. So that's what these, these warlocks and witches don't know. They think they're going against the Heavenly Father when in reality, they're really working for the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. That's why it is written, the deceived and the deceiver are his, are whose? The Heavenly Father. He controls everything. That's what those wicked warlocks and witches don't understand. They think they're going against the Heavenly Father, but <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're doing the bidding of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. Okay, so it says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. And how they do their sorceries? Through, this, through their spirit guides on the left-hand side. See? With the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. And what's the answer to that? They will not prevail. Yahweh Shai, pursuant to 1 Corinthians 15 and 24, Yahweh Shai is going to put down all rule, authority, and power of Esau. He's going to strip him of his power totally. So no spirit guide on the left-hand side will be able to help Esau. That's why I read that scripture. Stand now with the multitude of thine enchantments. All right? So there you go. So going back to 1 Timothy 2 and 5. We looked up the word mediator, mesites, and it says a medium of communication, right? As in a spirit guide. And who is that? Yahweh Shai. There you go, right here. A medium of communication. Who is that? That is Yahweh Shai, because the scripture tells you. There's one mediator between God and men, as in Israelite men, beginning with the elect, the man Yahweh Shai. So how you get around that? Now, the final scripture is Romans 8 and 33. Roman, the book of Romans, the 8th chapter. Take a sip of this coffee here. Romans, the 8th chapter. And we're going to read the 33rd verse. It says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Heavenly Father's elect? There's that word again, the elect. It is the Heavenly Father that justifieth. Right, so, you know, earlier I was watching the video and uh, it was uh, done by uh, the brother from Baltimore. Real cool brother. I met that brother, met him and his family. The brother Karataza. I even stayed by his home for, for a little bit, you know, a few hours when I went to visit him. Uh, he, he did a video and he played a clip from the IUIC and they're talking about the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's how you get to the kingdom. That's ha the, again, that's an example of, of what you call a half-truth. The real truth is that the Lord is only dealing with the elect. Like I said earlier, the true worshipers. So it doesn't matter how many laws, statutes, and commandments you try to keep. If you're not a member of the elect, you're not going to be delivered. That, this is what escapes this group called the IUIC. Because they certainly don't teach it. You have to be a member of the elect. Now, do you know if you're a member of the elect? No, you don't. That's why it is written, you give diligence to make your call and election sure. 
Now, can I honestly say that that group IUIC is given diligence? Not really. When you teach these scriptures, you're supposed to look up words. They scorn at that. You're supposed to look up words in the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Latin to get the greatest understanding. They don't do that. They don't even teach that. Okay? So what you get from this group is half-truths. And you're supposed to get the whole truth. The Apostle Paul said, I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Heavenly Father. So you're supposed to get the 100% truth. Right now, the only group that's really giving you 100% truth, I hate to sound like a commercial, but it is what it is, is the group known as Great Millstone and our affiliates that teach like us. You're getting 100% truth. You're getting the whole truth, not half truths. Okay? So the truth is that the Lord is only looking for the elect. And the elect were chosen even before the earth was created. So it, again, it doesn't go back to the law, statutes, and commandments. These guys don't understand for you to be justified by the law. Because they're always talking about the law, statutes, commandments. They talk more about the law, statutes, and commandments than they do Yahweh Shai, which is the object of salvation. The, the man's very name means salvation. He is the savior. These guys, they talk more about the law, statutes, and commandments than they do Yahweh Shai. For you to be justified by the law, statutes, and commandments, you have to keep all the law, statutes, and commandments, every last one of them. You can't break one of them. And that's simply impossible to do in this society, man. Impossible. So, uh, so as it stands, what is is uh, how do you, how do we be you know how do we get saved from the destruction? Well, if we're a member of the elect, the scripture is very clear on this. When Yahweh Shai comes, he's only going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. That's it, and that's in Matthew the twenty uh, fourth chapter, beginning at the thirtieth verse. But yet and still, these guys don't. Oh, Lord, you see, for you to get to the ki kingdom, you have to keep the. <laughs> Like, this, like, it's, like the Apostle Paul said to Timothy, desiring to be teachers of the Lord, they don't understand what they say, nor where they affirm. See? Why do you think we call ourselves the hopeful elect? Why do you think the Apostle Paul said we're prisoners of hope? What is our greatest hope? That we are part of that elect. Because only the elect is going to be saved. If you go back to Noah's day, right? Because Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, it shall be like the days of Noah when he comes, right? But go back to Noah's day. Who was the elect in Noah's day? Noah, his wife, his, his sons, and their wives. That's it. They were the elect of their day. Everybody else died in the flood. Everybody else died in the flood. You know why? Because they were not part of the elect. In Noah's day, the only elect was Noah, his wife, his sons, and their wives. That's it. A total of eight people. So, Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said... Just like the coming, just like the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So there you go. Now, of course, a whole lot more than eight people are going to be delivered, going to be saved. But the but the idea is still there. The point is still there. Okay, very few people are going to be saved in in comparison to the nation. And again, the elect were chosen even before the earth was created. So it goes far beyond the law. The law cannot save you, man, because for you to be justified by the law. You have to keep all the laws. Now, I might say not to keep the laws. No, the, 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 even the Apostle Paul said we establish the law, right? Judges 5 and 11 says we shall rehearse the righteous acts. That's the law. But there's only so many laws we can keep in this corrupt society. Hell, we can't even keep the Sabbath correctly in this corrupt society. All right. So going back to Romans, the eighth chapter, it says, who is he? So we just read the 33rd verse, right? Let's read the 34th verse. Who is he that condemneth? So you can't, if, if a man is a member of the elect, if a sister is a member of the elect or children, they cannot be condemned. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, I have not lost none save only the son of perdition. So all the elect, men, women, and children, Israelite men, women, and children, will be accounted for. Why? Because they're part of the elect. Just like Noah and his family was accounted for. They all made it through the flood. In that ark, right? So there you go. So who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai that died. It is Yahweh Shai again, our ultimate spirit guy. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Yeah, we, we like to talk about, we don't like to talk about Yahweh Shai's death, right? Which his death is very significant. If if his death didn't happen, we really wouldn't be made, we, will, we really wouldn't been, we really wouldn't be reconciled 
back to the Heavenly Father. When you look up the word reconcile, it means to be made a friend again. Yahweh had to spill his blood and then ultimately die. He became the su supreme sacrifice. But we like talking more about his life, how he was risen from the dead. Right? So, like the Apostle Paul says here, it is Yahweh Shai that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. That's the most important part. Because our, our Savior, our Spirit God, lives. And even now as I speak, he's at the right-hand side of the Father. So he lives. Right? We don't serve a power that's dead. We serve a power that, that is living. Very much so. It is Yahweh Shai that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God. Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> there you go. Who maketh, listen good, who maketh intercession for us, our ultimate spirit guide. That's Yahweh Shai. And that scripture, by the way, links up with 1 Timothy 2 and 5. That's another example of Yahweh Shai being our ultimate spirit guide. He makes intercession for us. Okay, he goes on our behalf to the Father. He pleads for us, man. He's our ultimate spirit guide. So pretty much this video is a celebration of how Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide and why he deserves uh, mega praise, you know. Uh, between Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all praises and glory is due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, like we always say. One reason is because Yahweh Shai is our ultimate spirit guide. If it wasn't for him, we would not have this knowledge. We would not have this truth. Okay? And you're about to see just how great this knowledge and this truth is when, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai magnifies this word. Okay? All right, so I'm going to stop it there. Hopefully you were edified. Like I said, if you was, please put a comment in the comment section. And above all, put some scriptures that brings out the, you know, the uh, title of this lesson that Yahweh Shai indeed is our ultimate spirit guide. That's what I want to see in the comment section. That way I know you got you got the edification of this lesson, that the Holy Spirit worked with you. All right, so with that, on to the next one.